Good morning YouTube, today we're gonna to change the spark plugs on a Porsche 996 Turbo. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, this is Adam's Garage, and this is his car, his 2002, right? Yes. 2002 Porsche 911 Turbo, it's the 996, and the spark plugs, well, got like 30,000 miles on them, so they're time to come out. If you guys want to support the channel and you have any sort of parts or services that you need from me, go check out normalguysupercar.com, use the code NGS10. It takes off 10% almost everything in the store. So I appreciate when you guys did it. That literally is how I pay my bills, so thank you so much. I don't have my monkey suit because I left it at Ven's house when we were working on his yeah. headers. I'm an idiot and I left my stuff there and he still got some of my wrenches too. I'm coming for you, Ven. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't this be backwards anyway? What do you mean backwards? You should be putting it the other way around. Why? I've never done that. Because your weight's right here. Well, I have a front transaxle though. Yeah. I've done it this way multiple times. Okay. I would prefer it that other way. That's how we do the mid-engine cars. Are you serious? That's how they do it? Yeah. Well, dude, haven't you seen those pictures of all the Corvette idiots that got their new C8s and then fell off the lift? All right, I'll move it. Oh, you're gonna, okay. I mean, it's, it's safer. Look how long the arm is, right? So you want the weight as close to the, this as possible. So if you have the, the rear weight way out there, because <laughs> the active arrow that wings heavy. So we're gonna change out engine struts, or engine bonnet struts. Just pop this out, right? Yeah, yeah, just pop up the little clip and the top and the bottom is clipped there and a clip there. And you shove a screwdriver in and the clips come out. See, easy peasy. Plastic. Man, I love Porsche. They're so much better than that Italian crap. You gotta wait till after we've helped, you know? We, <laughs> like don't give too much shade before we've done work. But that's kind of my MO though. True, that's Is true. to be completely unreasonable. <laughs> oh, missed. It go. happens. <laughs> oh, that was so easy and so worth it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it uh, it's pretty much since we've owned the car, which is like six or seven years. Oh. <laughs> nice. Such an easy fix. Yeah, I know. Cause and I was, they're cheap usually. I think it was like $25 each one. Yeah. If I remember correctly, we have to unscrew these Phillips screws. Yep. And then yeah. there's something Let's else see. we had to do. The lights had to come out too. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's I remember right. that. Lights. Okay, those are torques. And then we can't forget to plug back in those. We're trying this new experiment where we got wireless. I'm like, ah, oh, yours bundled up again. Yeah, they're just Phillips heads. Four Phillips heads. So T27. Negative T25. Now your stuff is They're in not order. in order. Yeah, I couldn't. <sighs> I, I was going to when I got it, and it was taking forever, and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to do this. And one of these is an Allen. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Looks like a I think we three. had to undo the wheel well or the wheel liners too. I think you're right. I feel like a badass doing two at a yeah. time. I'm like, oh, look how awesome I am. And I'm doing one at the same time. Like yeah. two dudes, one car. Two dudes, one car. This is so nice when it you can lift it up to the exact height you need it to be. Quit bragging. <laughs> Someday, honestly. But you have an air conditioned garage, so. I do love my garage now. I just wish I had a lift. <gasps> How dare you? Well, that one's already broken up there too. Hmm. What the hell? I'm sorry. No, you're just... Dude, was that already broken? That like... I think so because look, that's cracked up there too. Like I barely nudged it. Hmm. Like it shattered. Didn't Loper, this one was already broke too. Wow. Didn't Loper have that issue too? Cause he was like, oh, I was driving down the road and like, oh, his tail light my tail off. lights were like hanging on by their wires and stuff or something like that. Could be, yeah, damn. Um, all right, well, maybe that's an apparent Porsche flaw. Well, nobody's perfect. Oh, yeah, this one's all cracked up. Nobody's perfect, Dan. True story. Quick jack or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. These are so much, this is so much nicer. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Now if I could just air conditioning this, air condition this thing. You'd have to insulate it. Yeah. That'd be a lot. One day. The insulation would be expensive for this. Oh, I remember this thing was like way up in there, right? Yeah. Oh, oh. Ah. Did you get it? Got it. 
You need a ratchet? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't want that falling on my head either. There you go. It's like just fumbling around in there. <laughs> just trying to guess like a, where you're at. I feel like a high schooler on prom night. <laughs> <laughs> Is in the hole? <laughs> nope. That's what she said. In the hole? Wrong hole. Wrong hole. This is a family channel, Dan. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't tell. Nope, need a flashlight. I am, I am clearly still a high schooler. <laughs> well, you got it right at least once. Meg's about to give birth here in a couple of months. I was joking about that. I'm like, you know, I've been married, I've been with Meg for over 20 years and that was the first time that <laughs> it wasn't just practice. <laughs> practice makes perfect. Uh, apparently. <laughs> Yay. Power tools make everything so much easier. I'm Everyone gives me crap sometimes. Like, why are you always using a power tool? I'm like, because I don't want to sit there wrenching for the next 35 minutes. Doctor. 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 And doctor. 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 And doctor. Well, we miss anyone? I love that movie. And I feel like watching that movie. Spies like us. That's like straight from the childhood. Definitely need more light in here. Yeah. I thought, honestly, I thought these lights were going to be much brighter than they were. They're not. They're not. It's not that they're not bright, it's just you need like six times more. <laughs> Especially for filming. Shoot. Don't. Yay! There's your bumper. Oh, here's the intercoolers? Yep. Oh, so you go in like that. Yeah. Oof. How okay. the hell do you get those out? I don't know. I thought you read a book. I can't read. Oh, weird. All right, this is like a bracket. Yeah. Oh, there's a bolt that's not there. Well, I guess let's just start taking shit apart until it falls out. Oh, yeah, this bolt. Oh, yeah, I remember that bolt we had a hard time with, remember? Did your I do remember that. That was a, yeah, that was a pain. I'm a pro at getting it in the hole. <laughs> it's a lot easier when they're small. <laughs> it's not the size of the boat, it's the motion in the ocean. It does take a while to get to England in a the, rowboat though. It's the impact of the impact gun. <laughs> Why would they use so many different types of fasteners? Please tell me about how amazing Porsche is and compare it to the Italians. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that uh, the Italians do the same thing. I know, unless you pull out the whole subframe of this thing, which has yeah, these there, two Here's nuts. another E-clip right here, and then you can disconnect this hose from the inner core. So here's right the question here. is, do you take out the whole frame? I think so. If so, then you take out these bolts. Oh. There you go. Yeah, I don't think I need to take it all the way off. That's why I hate working in a uh, open light garage to the sun because you look at the sun and it just you can't see anything. I'm going to take out the rest of this wheel well liner. I think that it's going to have to come out because the charge pipe goes up inside the quarter panel. Whoops, that's why we can't have nice things. We're just like plowing through it. Take off stuff. Come on. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, it's starting to come off. Oh, there it goes. Oh, ow. There's something else. Yep, there's something. Oh, this is, there, it's hung up on that. We're learning, Dan. Yeah. I don't know about these, the Germans. <laughs> What is a gun doing in your trousers? For protection. Protection from what? The Germans. You like it. Remember that from the movie Snatch? Never seen it. I'm like, what? I know. Oh my God. How can you not have seen Snatch? I've never seen spies like us either. What? You guys grew up the same era? Right? I'm pretty close. I'm 41. <laughs> okay, boomer. I'm not a boomer ass. I'm 34. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's the thing I've done. Is it held on to this, this heat shield? 
what's holding this heat shield on? There's another one. There's that. Oh! Oh! Hey, there's a cobweb. Hey! Right, Good lord! Lesson learned, nice butt crack. Uh, don't have to do those clamps. We can put those on, back on. Where the f*** are the spark plugs? I'm gonna laugh if we did all this for nothing. Me too, and then I'm gonna cry. My Porsche tech buddy said, no, oh, the spark plugs have to come, or the intercoolers have to come out. Yeah. If I've been bamboozled, I'm gonna be angry. I think you have to pull off the turbo. He maybe. said you don't. What? This little shield has to come off. Yeah, oh, oh, I can't still hot. I know, and it only ran, ran for like two minutes, if that. <laughs> yeah. So I see the two bolts, but how the shit do you get to? I wonder if getting the cat out would make this easier. Yes. Porsche, where changing a spark plug requires removing the exhaust. Some of the exhaust. Let's not, let's not get out of control here, Dan. We're pulling off the intake system. <clears throat> Look, man, nobody's perfect, all right? Everyone's like, Porsche is <laughs> true. That's all I ever hear. Porsche did, Porsche did. You're so great. They have their problems too. Look, all cars have suck parts about them. That is true. I don't want to take the cat out. I guess we're going to have to. Either that, either bend the heat shield up out of the way and bend it back into place. Oh, but it's on a lift. I'm going to go up a little bit more. So there's a heat shield, you can see, that covers the ignition coils and spark plugs. And he got the nuts off of that, the bolts, I should say. And now we got to get it out of there. But it's kind of stuck on the O2 wire. I'm going to take this heat shield out. This is the heat shield for the... It's like a bracket here. It's this stupid bracket that holds the turbo that's right in the way. Well, this bracket came off when we were doing the... That's also that oil line. Good lord. Porsches are so awesome engineered. It's a good t-shirt. Porsches are so awesome engineered. <laughs> <laughs> They're so great. They're way better than a Ferrari. They are. They sure didn't think about maintenance. Right. It's because Porsches don't need maintenance. Uh, except for the times that it does. Well, this is preventative maintenance, so. That's still maintenance. Oh, this is so annoying. You want me to get it? I got a good angle. My angle of the dangle is much better than your angle. And then this one, too. Jesus. That's not the same size. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it be? Look at it. Can you see them all? Yep. There. Boom. I guess, nope, that got it. So you gotta pull off the turbo heat shield to get the ignition coil cover off. What a pain in the wow. butt. All right, going up. Actually, that's probably at a pretty good height. I, I want, well, I mean, for you. They don't even have like regular six point nuts. They have 12 point. Of course they do, why wouldn't they? How long did it take to get to the spark plugs? <laughs> <laughs> an hour? <laughs> well, the other side's gonna be a lot easier now we know what we're doing. Eh. Sort of. Famous last words, right? Yeah. Yeah, the hardest thing has been that heat shield. Maybe. Knowing the intercooler was kind of a pain. Yeah, but. Getting the first plug out. I will say though, now that we're at the plugs, I do like how it's straight on. Yeah, yeah that's, that's kind of nice. I mean, it's got like 33,000 miles on a high compression engine. It's not Turbo, bad. yeah. Yeah, but they're actually, I don't think they're that bad. So then I got the new ones. Put a little bit of uh, anti-seize on the threads. Oh, it's even got a nice little tear open thing. Does it let you, <gasps> ooh. Probably don't need a whole heck of a lot on here. Probably a little bit more than that. I think this is one of those things where less is more. Kai. Ferraris, they rub olive oil, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a good one. <laughs> that is actually funny. <laughs> I was saying, you know, so on the spark plugs, you put on a little bit of the anti-seize and he was like, on Ferraris, they put olive oil in there, right? <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, that's actually funny. Probably not far from the truth, though. Hey, I think that's enough or more. Well, that's plenty. Yeah, you only need a dab. I hate doing this. Although going started, straight oh, on, yeah. it's not bad. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, I was to say, always start hand thread on those. Oh yeah. Otherwise you get a Tim, you have one that ejects itself. That's I'm amazed crazy. that they can fix that. 
that for head without cheap pulling as they out. Did. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They must have like a eucalyptus, eucalyptus or something on that bug spray because I can feel it. Ooh, digital. Yeah. First think, tool you've got that I'm jealous of. It's not like you're putting olive oil on it. <laughs> as you should. Ferrari! Hey, that's a Ferrari. Lubricate. Luigi, get the olive oil. Get in the hole. That's what she said. I know. Wow, that is really hard. You really think you can go all day long? You always left me satisfied and smiling, so. That's what she said! <laughs> I hate doing fine dexterity things with gloves on. Tag teaming it. It's not the, not the cool kind of threesome though. Once had a threesome, and not the cool kind. Where you do two chicks at the same time. Well, it's two dudes, one chick. Two dudes, one Porsche. What would you do with a million dollars? Two chicks at the same time. That's it? You, you had a million dollars, you, you'd do two chicks at the same time? Damn straight, I always wanted to do that, man. That's such a great movie. I will say, yes, it has been a pain in the butt to get to this point. I will, I will concede that. Porsche is not perfect, <laughs> but these spark plugs is Pretty so easy. much easier. Oh yeah, doing the actual <laughs> spark plugs. Yeah. Getting to the spark plugs, not so easy. But doing, doing it straight plugs. on is awesome. Yeah. I think everything is back. Just now we have to put the intercooler assembly back up, which that's probably gonna take two people because We'll have to yeah, line have this to up. Hold it just you have right. to line that up. You have to line that up. Yeah, there's three points that you have to line up. Boom. Yay! And there is much rejoicing. And there was much rejoicing. Yay! There we go. There's a stud there. Well, that stud's handily placed, actually. <laughs> This was much easier to get in and out when you know what you're doing, right? <laughs> it actually isn't that bad. Now, no, now that we know how to do it. Yeah. Like if someone was like, hey, can you do this for me? I'd be like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> now we know exactly how. I would gladly do this. Because when we were taking this all apart, I was like, those bastards lied to me. <laughs> they said it was super easy. That's the problem. Once you've done something five times and someone asks you to do it, you're like, oh yeah, it's super it's like, easy. It's like when people ask to do the uh, headers on a 430. Like, oh, it's not that bad. Yeah. But I've done it nine times now or whatever. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, well it isn't. And bad. now that we know how this is done, this whole assembly actually isn't that bad of an idea that they have set up here. Yeah. You know, it was kind of a pain at first. You're like, what the hell were they thinking? I was, always, I was, I didn't want to say this at the time, but of course, for a while there, I was kind of with Dan on, I was like, this is stupid. <laughs> Why would they do it this way? <laughs> I couldn't tell Dan I felt that way though. Obviously. I understand. <laughs> I say, you know what having extra parts means, right? You're smarter than the engineers that designed it. <laughs> <laughs> I know better than you. We don't need this. <laughs> I just proved you wrong. You took the O2 sensor out so you could get this out, right? So this has to go in first. Yeah. So much that we learned on the second side, Dan. Mm -hmm. Is that all done? The other side? Basically. I think so. Well, I was saying once the intercoolers and everything are uh, in, like mechanically, everything's gonna go. I kinda wanna start it before yeah, yeah. we put everything back together. Yeah. <laughs> before you do the bumper. Yeah. This yep. way. So. Make sure we get that, this tang under. Yeah. So this needs to come down though, right? Yeah. yeah. So. It goes under this thing right here. Yep. Made it. On Bring a Trailer, somebody bought, uh, it was either a late 996 or an early 997 for like 85,000. Turbo? No. <laughs> Not even a that's turbo. That's what, yeah, that's what made it like, it was just a regular. I, mean, I could see that for a 997 turbo, but <laughs> fuck. Yeah. People like Degs. I like Degs. Yeah. That's why you need to see Snatch. I like Degs. Yeah, Degs. Do you like Degs? Degs. What? Yeah, dogs. Dogs. You like dogs? Oh, dogs. Sure. I like dogs. Okie day. Here comes Das Moment of Truth. Three, 
Sweet. Great success. It didn't even bitch about tail lights. It's not new enough to, <laughs> to know. <laughs> Headers would be so easy on this thing. Yeah, they would. <laughs> we should do him. We should. That would yeah. be awesome. I got a guy. There she goes. Yeah. Well, I'll start sourcing tail lights. Cars around the same era as the 430. Apparently, that period of time, no one knew how to make tail lights that stayed in place. <laughs> all right, we're all done. Porsche is all set. New spark plugs. Don't need to change them out for another 30,000 miles. Again, if you want to help me out, please like, share, and subscribe, and visit normalguysupercar.com. There you can buy any sort of parts and services that I sell. You can get 10% off using the code NGS10 almost everything in the store. So again, I do appreciate when you guys did that literally supports the channel and helps me keep, keep this thing going. So thank you to all of you that have bought stuff for me in the past and that all of you that are gonna buy stuff from me in the future. But you guys know how it is. We have lots more car stuff coming your way. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be sweet. All right, what do we got here? Oh my Lord. Oh my goodness. Three day old puppies. <laughs> there you go. Oh my, squeaky squeak.